Hi guys, today I updated um, the cheap thermistor I ordered, finally arrived. Um, I put it sort of close to the bed so it sort of reacts, it's kind of quick. Um, I have it so now it will just warm up the enclosure until it reaches a, a certain temperature, until that thermistor reaches around 39 degrees. Let me show you how you did it. So once um, you install the thermistor, if you install it uh, in this pin here, so the one after hot end, this is gonna be, I'll show you here. You can go ahead and add it like this, temperature underscore sensor enclosure. Uh, if you add it like that, and then sensor type generic 3950. Your sensor pin is gonna be PF5 if you put it in the third location there. And after you reboot, you're gonna be able, to, if you go to your dashboard, you're gonna get your temperature sensor of the enclosure. All right, and all you gotta do is um, for G code, you can just go ahead and add temperature weight sensor underscore uh, equal temperature underscore sensor enclosure. Since uh, I since the way I declared it was temperature underscore sensor enclosure, you have to put that entire thing. Um, so now my uh, star macro, if you're using a star macro in printer.cfg, you could also put it there. Um, nothing, nothing below is gonna get executed until the temperature sensor, uh, basically the enclosure is, reaches actually 37 degrees. I found that when that thermistor reaches 37, my enclosure actually reaches 30 degrees. Uh, and I find that everything works well at 30 degrees. This way you have a consistency uh, every time um, you start at the same temperature, your Z offset is always going to be the same, and you will have a good um, first layer. So I'm printing it out. Make sure I'm not actually entirely satisfied with this first layer, but let me go ahead and take a look. No, it's fine. It's just my eyes playing tricks on me. Um, so this way, uh, no matter what, your printer starts at the exact same temperature, um, so you'll have exact same results. Although I've never had problems just leaving it on. This way you can automate everything. You don't have to warm up the printer. It's just gonna figure out all yourself. So check it out. Uh, if you haven't installed a enclosure thermistor, you, you don't have to put it there. You could put it over there, um, over you know anywhere, anywhere that's gonna uh, sense the temperature. I, but I just put it there because it's sort of close to the heat bed and um, reacts a little quicker. So I like it. It's the actual temperature is 31 degrees. This thermometer stops working like it starts all getting like that after 30 degrees. That's why I installed my own thermistor. Uh, you can get it on AliExpress for like pack of 10 for like five bucks. It's definitely worth it. This way uh, your printer waits and you don't have to waste time. You don't have to worry about like heating it 30, 30 minutes or you know, whenever your enclosure is at certain degrees, uh, it's gonna go ahead and do your probe, uh, quad gantry. Uh, and then go. So yeah, try that.